hello students today we are going to learn about the human eye how it works what are the parts of human eye as you know there are many sense organs in our body out of the sense organs in our body eye is the most important sensitive sense organ without this organ we can't see the beautiful world though we can identify an object by touching smelling tasting and sound but eyes help us to identify the colors let's see the structure and various parts of our eye our eye consists of cornea iris pupil eye lens ciliary muscles retina optic nerves and more these parts coordinate with each other to help us to see the colorful world outside let's see how they work eye acts like camera light enters through a thin membrane called cornea and an image is formed on light sensitive screen called retina the eyeball is spherical with diameter about 3.3 cm behind cornea we can find iris it controls the size of pupil that means increase or reduction of the size of the pupil depend upon the iris The pupil controls the amount of light entering the eye. The eye lens forms an inverted real image of the object on retina. Next, next we will see what do you mean by power of accommodation. The eye lens is composed of fibrous jelly-like muscles. When the muscles relax, it becomes thin and enables us to see distant object clearly. That means focal length increases. When the ciliary muscles contract, the eye lens becomes thicker. Means the focal length decreases. So this enables to see the nearby object clearly. The ability to see of the eye lens to adjust its focal length is called accommodation but if we decrease the focal length of below the minimum limit the image will be blurred so the power of eye lens to adjust its focal length is called power of accommodation that means the distance at which we can see the things clearly that is called power of accommodation defects of vision so let's see what are the defects of vision the first one is the myopia or short sightedness suffering from myopia can see the nearby objects clearly but he can't see the distant object means he can see only a few meter beyond that point he cannot see the objects clearly but it can be corrected with the help of concave lens see the next one The next is the hypermetropia that is the far sightedness it is the just opposite of myopia people suffering from this disease can see the farther object clearly but they cannot see the nearby objects clearly and it can be corrected by a convex lens so see the definition very clearly what is hypermetropia and myopia The next defect is caused due to aging. As our age increases, our nearsightedness is decreased that is called presbyopia. As the person ages, the nearby sight decreases. They find it difficult to see the close object as the ciliary muscles weakens. This defect is called presbyopia.
some cases people may suffer both from myopia and hypermetropia it is corrected by a bifocal lens that means both concave and convex lens another type of defect which is age related is cataract this is also an age related condition caused due to the loss of transparency of lens by erosion of lens proteins next we will see some effect of life first one is dispersion of light so the splitting of light into its components seven colors is called dispersion when a white light ray passes through a prism the sequence of colors are violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red in short we can call it as vibrio so this is called dispersion of white light when it splits into its seven colors how a rainbow is formed a rainbow is caused by dispersion of light by tiny water droplets present in the atmosphere A rainbow is always formed opposite to that of sun. Here the droplets acts as a prism and they reflect and disperse the light. They reflect it internally and finally refract it. This is how the rainbow is formed. Next atmospheric refraction is the twinkling of star. The twinkling of star is due to the atmospheric refraction of starlight. The starlight on entering the earth atmosphere undergoes refraction continuously before it reaches to the earth. So the next we will discuss why the planet does not twinkle. As you know, the distance between the planets and the Earth is less as compared to the stars. If planets are considered as a collection of point-sized light sources of light, the variation of light entering in our eyes are zero. Therefore, they does not twinkle. Next is the sunrise and sunset. We can see the sun 2 minutes before the actual sunrise and 2 minutes later or after the sunset. It is because the atmospheric refraction. See the diagram to understand. This diagram explains why we see the sunrise Two minutes before and the sunset. Two minutes after also. Next refraction of atmosphere is called Tyndall effect. What is Tyndall effect? The atmosphere is heterogeneous mixture of various particles. This may include smoke, tiny particles, dust particles, and air. When light passes through these particles. the path of beam becomes visible this effect is called tendal effect then why the sky is blue the small size particle of air scatter the blue light because of its shorter wavelength that enters into our eyes The sky appears black when there is no atmosphere or no light. The scattering does not take place, so the sky appears dark.
see you students in the next video please subscribe our channel and be in touch thank you for watching